there are some tools that won't directly interact with your website, but that are still incredibly helpful throughout the website process, including during things like branding and content when there may not be a website yet. First up in our honorable mentions is color contrast. There's quite a few tools out there. First is who can use. It gives you a nice interface to be able to add your background and your text, and then a bunch of different scenarios that people may encounter when dealing with color contrast. And so you can enter pretty much any background and any text color. If we take a look at one that doesn't work, we can see the example to the right and then what situation or scenario might be interacting with that color. And so we can see obviously the one that I chose fails on all aspects. Um, you can choose one that like sort of works and it'll pass sometime in some situations and not others. And so this is a really great way to visually see why something may or may not pass color contrast. Another color contrast tool is odd contrast. It lets you input colors in more than just hex formats. So we can choose hex and it'll give us the different you know, hex colors, but then it'll also give us all of these other formats. So if we choose one of these other ones like HSL, that'll give us the HSL option to enter and then provide us with all those other formats. So this is really helpful to be able to see what passes and what fails, but in different formats. So I thought that was a really interesting take on this color contrast. Another approach to color contrast is this contrast grid. It lets you generate a full grid of different color combinations. So you can set your rows and your columns of different colors and it will generate every single combination and you can see which one passes and which one fails. This is going to be great if you have a bunch of different brand colors and then this way you can figure out if you need to come up with some kind of accessible alternative to that. The last color contrast tool is actually for testing text on an image. It's called text on background. It's an incredible tool that lets you upload an image and test what text colors are going to have the best contrast on it. I have not found a similar tool anywhere. It's a, an absolutely incredible option. You can upload any image. You can pick a color for your text and set the font size. And now that matters because different font sizes have different, um, contrast requirements. So if we set our font size to, you know, 33, we can see that that changes our results a little bit. We can click and drag the text anywhere. So if we lower our font size back to 18 and drag our white text over onto this dark blue background, it totally passes. And so if you were able to somehow position this image so that the text was always on this blue color, then it's totally going to be fine for your website. But if the text does end up on this white flower with the white text, you can see that it fails. And the really special part about this is that it gives you what percentage is failed. So we can see that because some of it's on that blue background, it doesn't completely fail, but most of it's on that white. So it's not going to work. And it gives you that double A, then double A 18 point triple A and then triple A 18 point. So it's going to give you those different options. Um, so I would highly recommend taking a look at this tool. It's brandwood.com slash A11Y. This is an invaluable tool in my testing. The last honorable mention category that I do have is on readability. So the first one is the Hemingway app or Hemingway editor. Um, it's a great tool that provides a few different checks to make sure your content is readable. It gives you a grade level. Um, how many sentences are hard to read, how many words have simpler alternatives. Um, so this is a really great way you can just paste your content right in here, interact with it, edit the different things that it's called out. So it has, um, you know, this one is a qualifier or um, a word with a simpler synonym. And so you can just, uh, you know, change it in here and see the results update in real time. And so I find that really helpful. There's also another option that I found, um, WebFX. And so this is a readability test that you can paste your URL right into this box. It will scan your site and generate a report on the content that it finds and give you a readability score for it. Um, so 
It does let you also enter the text in here. Um, I like the Hemingway editor if I'm going to do any kind of pasting of the text, but um, having a, a way to be able to just enter the URL and generate a little bit of info about the content is also extremely helpful. It doesn't end here though. The tools that I've mentioned throughout this series don't cover everything. Some of them go into more detail than others or take more context into consideration, but there are things you're going to need a human for, like knowing when there are false positives or things that the tools missed, checking the readability of fonts, screen reader testing, and so on. But these tools are a great place to start. If you know of a tool that I haven't shown, let me know. It's possible I don't know about it or it's possible it's not a tool I'd recommend. So let me know what tools you use and make sure to share these resources with everyone you know that has a website.